The long wait is over after several construction completed. The Lagos Red Line Metro Rail Mass Transit has begun full passengers operation on 15th of October 2024. Welcome to Lagos, African largest city. Today, we are super excited to bring you an update on the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail Mass Transit. Get ready to experience the future of transportation in the metropolitan Lagos. That's right. I think it's very, very convenient. It's very effective. You can actually time your... Like, you know, did, did this morning, I follow uh, BRT from, from, from Okoko. I stop at my two, enter train uh, on the theater. Like, I can actually time myself. Can yeah. I change? Yes. Of the blue line? Yes. Yes, okay. That's, that's the plan. Uh, that's the plan, but well, that would take a very long time. You're not supposed. For now. Yeah, they just won't connect Lagos first. For now, for now, for now, the one stop at Coco first. Yeah, I mean, after that one, I'm getting there. Yeah. But they have a lot of projects, like, they, they have other ones to connect. Opposite day. That purple, what green? I don't even know. I think I'll, I'll check. I, I have the. Have the yeah, have the yeah, they have green, green, green or, orange. Like go to my home Make sure private. The, the, the green now, the, the, the recently signed uh, MOU. Where the green they go? Island, I think. Island, yes. Even the colors. So even at gas down. That one, that one, that one, that one, I think it would be electric. Uh, yeah, because it's so, 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 no, no, it's only the um, yeah. motive. If they use, if they use this, uh, yeah, it, it can be converted, yes. But like the, 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 the yeah, yeah. Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babajide Songolu, and other passengers took their first ride on the full passengers' operation of the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail Mass Transit. In this video, I'll be discussing all you need to know on the Lagos Red Line full passengers' operation, the pricing, the timing, the ticketing and all that needs to be known. The construction of the Lagos Red Line is divided into two phases. It spans 37 km when completed, but currently the phase 1 spans 27 km from Agbado to Oyimbo, with 8 different stations. The last station, which is Agbado Station, is under construction. Meanwhile, they were using the Latif Jakonde Station for the NROC, pending till the Agbado Station is fully completed. Let's discuss timing. These are the timetable provided by the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA. As clearly written on the timetable, the train will be running a six trip daily. Two trips in the morning, four in the evening. The first trip will start at Abado at 6 a.m. in the morning. To arrive at Iju Station at 6, 7 a.m. in the morning. Agege, 6, 19 a.m. in the morning. Ikeja, 6, 29 a.m. Oshodi, 6, 40 a.m. Moshi, 6, 49 a.m. Ayaba, 6, 57 a.m. And the last station, which is Oyimbo, 7, 07. The second trip will rather start at Iju instead of Agbado from 7.30 a.m. Arrive Agege, 7.39 a.m. Arrive Ikeja, 7.49 a.m. Oshodi, 8 o'clock. Moshi, 8.09. Ayaba, 8.17 a.m. And Oyimbo, 8.27 a.m. These are all morning trip. The evening trip we start departing from Oyimbo 5.20 p.m. Arrive Yaba 5.27 p.m. Mushi 5.35 p.m. Oshodi 5.44 p.m. Keja 5.55 p.m. Agege 6.05 p.m. Iju 6.17 p.m. Agbado 6.27 p.m. Second trip depart Agbado at exactly 6.50 p.m. Arrive Iju 6.55 p.m. Agege 7.09 p.m. Ikeja 7.19 p.m. Oshodi 7.30 p.m. Mushi 7.39 p.m. Yaba 7.47 p.m. Oyimbo 7.57 p.m. PM. While this train took off from Abado, and that one is taking off from Oyimbo. They will both be running alongside. The second trip from Oyimbo, being the third trip on the evening schedule, run from 6.40 p.m. at Oyimbo, arrive Yaba 6.47 p.m. Mushi 6.55 p.m. Oshodi 7.04 p.m. Ikeja 7.15 p.m. Agege 7.25 p.m. Iju 7.37 p.m. Abado 7.47 p.m. The fourth trip, being the last, will depart Abado at 8 10 pm arrive with you 8 17 pm agege 8 29 pm ikeja 8 39 pm oshodi 8 50 pm mushi 8 9 pm yaba 9 07 pm ojimbo 9 17 pm these are all the careful consideration by lamata and they are all subjected to review 
and updating. The Lagos Travel Card, known as Carrier Card, remains the payment system for this service. Simply go to the ticketing office at the station to top up your Carrier Card. The stations have ticketing office where you can simply go to recharge your Carrier Card. Let's take a look at the station now that it's fully operational. What is the station looking like? We have all the modern facilities like escalators, elevators, fully functional at these particular stations. I'll be taking you on a tour of the station one after the other. For the meantime, enjoy the experience. You guys, how you doing? Are you experienced Lagos? You know? Lagos has come out in your numbers and experience this. Like I promise, in the future updates, I'll be taking you on a tour of the stations one after the other so you see what they currently look like now that it's fully operational. Let's digress. Let's discuss the pricing for this metro rail as announced by the authorities. On 14th of October, Lamata announced the price for the Lagos Red Line. The pricing for the ridership on this service is in two zones. Let's discuss them one by one. This zone two is Abadu Iju to Agege is 500 Naira per ridership. This zone one, Agege to Ikeja, 500 Naira. Agege to Oshodi, 1000 Naira. Agege to Mushi, 1000. Agege to Yaba, 1000. Agege to Ojimbo, 1000. Ikeja to Oshodi, 500. Oshodi to Mushi, 500. Mushi to Yaba, 500. Yaba to Oyimbo, 500. Then if I'm going from zone 1 to zone 2 straight up, like from Abado down to Oyimbo, it's 1,500 Naira as displayed on the screen. In as much as this is a very sensitive discussion, please, I have to end my opinion on this. The pricing for me, I believe Lamata has carefully do their consultation and surveillance and come up with this pricing, which they believe is fair enough. But to my opinion, I don't think it's affordable for average Nigerian on this corridor. Why do I say so? In Nigeria today, the current minimum wage is 70,000 Naira. Nigerians in, below and above this. The red line is designed to cater for every Nigerian regardless of your status. It's meant to take everybody, everybody. Now, somebody who's working maybe at Papa or Lagos Island, earning 200,000 Naira, 120,000 Naira monthly, which is a good pay for most Nigerians living at that corridor. Do the maths, coming from Abadu to Oyimbo, you spend 1,500 Naira going. Average working days in the month is 20 days. That means if you spend 1,500 going from Abadu to Oyimbo, you spend 30,000 Naira going. Coming back, you spend the same amount. You're leaving your home. If you pay Keke, you pay Kokada, or whatever it means you take to the station, and other expenses. That means in a month, somebody working um, at Abadu, or somebody working at Island or at Papa, earning 120,000 Naira in a month, is expected to spend 60,000 Naira on train ride from this corridor. Do you think it's fair enough? I thought myself adding this comment to this video, but why I said to go ahead is, I'm looking at the growth and sustainability of the Lagos Red Line on this corridor. Which always, I believe Lagos Red Line is a game changer on this corridor. And I applaud the Lagos State Government and encourage all Lagosians to come out in the number to patronize and experience the Lagos Red Line. And most importantly, take ownership. Say no to vandalism. This is our property. It's our own. Take full ownership. Tell one, tell two that the Red Line has started full operation. Come out and patronize the Lagos Red Line Metro Rail Mass Transit.